Right, guys, how's it going? I'm just going to chat to you in this little video, do an introduction to nature, which is the second series of arguments I'm going to make in this integration playlist. Right, so let's just jump in straight into some slides. Eh? Right, there we are. So nature, which is a category of order that we, we use to understand reality with, right? So the definition I'm going to use for nature is the, your personal interaction with reality. Now I know, like if you Google nature, let me just do that quickly. Right, so Google says, nature is the phenomena of the physical world collectively, including plants, animals, the landscape and other features and products of the earth, as opposed to humans or creations. But I don't disagree with that, I'm just trying to come up with something that's useful to us here. The physical force regarded to is causing and regulating the phenomena of the world. That's pretty useful, you know, the laws of nature. Um, basic or inherent features, characters or qualities of something, the innate or essential qualities of or character of a person, animal, right, so, yeah, laws of nature, we kind of know what we mean, don't we, that probably flashed a bit, you know, you know what I mean by nature, I know what I mean by nature, but I just want to point out that in this series of videos, I'm talking about nature as something, as the thing as what you're, you're interacting with, as your worldview is interacting with, right? And well, just the category of that thing being interacted with is reality. And of course, I've just put it in quotations there because there's going to be a lot of explanation into what reality is and means and so on and so forth. So this is pretty much the picture of where we want to get to, right? Um, and of course, this builds onto onto the order that you've pulled out of out of chaos for to understand your consciousness. So this is the second second series of the of um, little videos. So like I say, this is your personal interaction with reality. So there's your worldview, and it's trying to explain what's happened, predict what's going to happen, and improve reality. Right. So that means reality is dynamic. It's not just static. It's not unchanging. Um, reality can get better and worse for you, and it can get better and worse for other people. Um, and what we're trying to do is improve reality. Um, and we're trying to get into a situation where reality improves your worldview, objectively and subjectively. Now, like I was saying early on, I don't know if you could come up with this sort of mental model without... A model of consciousness you know a theory of knowledge which says desire drives goals drives values and insights drive desire right if you if you are young and you think that desire the things you desire to do are distractions from your goals you're not going to get into a situation where you gain knowledge so I think you and I you know I'll try and explain this further in, in later videos but I think if you get into a situation where, you know, desire is a subjective and the subjective is a distraction from the objective, and so there's no, the in, the unconscious is not conf, uh, informing the consciousness, um, the subjective is not informing the objective, you get into a situation where I think your worldview deteriorates objectively and subjectively, right? It shrinks territory-wise. Like I like to think of gaining knowledge as conquering territory. You, you see a valley in front of you, you get to the top of it, and then you see what's beyond the valley. So it's like conquering territory. And it also deteriorates in terms of resolution. You, your categories may just get more and more general. But you don't have a category for people I slightly dislike and people I hate. Something happens, you experience something, and you go, now I, all the people that I used to slightly dislike, I now hate. And so your resolution just gets, you know, just gets lower and lower. So lower resolution, Ooh. 
lower resolution and lower territory. Right, so the reason I've put consciousness in, as the first series of videos is because I don't think, and I might be wrong, this is just a theory, it's just a philosophy, I don't think you can avoid this without getting this right. I don't think you're going to get this right and then arrive at this. I don't think you're going to get into a good relationship with nature and then a good relationship with your consciousness. I think it goes this way, then that way. And if you don't, if you fail here, you're going to fail with nature. So I hope that clarifies things. And yep, so this is just a short video. You know, right now it's at six minutes. Um, I think, you know, I've said enough. There's obviously a lot more to this. Um, you know, and, and I'll talk about reality being dynamic. I'll talk about supernature and, you know, the resolution and so on of your worldview. Um, and I'll just flesh out a few more details and talk about the past and the present and the future. Just things like that. Just to basically add more to this image. But we, we're going to go, we're going to build in the con each component of this bigger picture and then talk about adding detail to that. Just fleshing this out. Um, yeah, so subscribe if you want to keep up with it. And I'll just do videos as I go and hopefully fin knock it out in a few months. Um, and if you want to find it again, just look, look into the playlist. Righto, thanks for watching guys. Cheers.